everyone, this is Jesse here, and today I'm going to bring you a comparison video that you didn't know that you needed in your life. We're going to see how the Dooney & Burke Florentine Satchel stacks up against the Louis Vuitton Speedy B in the size 25 in a prompt leather, and you're going to be pretty surprised by the outcome at the end. I want to go ahead and jump right into it. I have some notes here, so I'm going to be looking down from time to time just to make sure that I don't miss anything. Um, but the first thing that I wanted to go over was the leather. They're both black leather bags, which you may think, okay, that's very similar, but it's very different, and here's why. The Dooney & Burke Florentine Satchel, now this is just the regular size. They have a variety of sizes, but this is just called the Florentine Satchel on their website, and this is the Speedy Vandelier. 25 and unprompt leather. For reference, I'm always going to talk about the Florentine satchel first, and then I'm going to compare it to the Speedy. Now, the leather on this is Dooney & Burke's Florentine leather. This is sourced from Italy, from Italy, and it is vaquetta leather that patinas over time. So you'll see here that it has a little bit of a sheen to it. I didn't get to wear it that much. It didn't really patina that much because I keep it in its dust bag when I'm not using it, but I'll try to find you some pictures of other Florentine satchels that have patinaed. Whereas the Speedy 25 is Louis Vuitton's, what they call their emprunt leather. And you can see it's a very pebbled leather. Now, I won't get into how the finishes are achieved with these different types of leather because that's a whole separate topic. But the pebbling finish is achieved two ways. It's either stamped into the leather so that you get that nice consistent pebbling and even pebbling throughout, or it can be put in a tumbler and just over time of it tumbling and tumbling, it gets all those veins and bumps in there. Both of these bags are not like waterproof or anything like that, but this is a lot better at repelling the water than this. This, since it is vaquetta, it will absorb some water. Now, it just depends, I guess, on the color of your bag. This is also a little bit more prone to getting scratched. Now. If you do have like light surface scratches, you can just take the oils from your finger and rub them out. I've done it before, it works perfect. But just know that if you do get a deeper scratch in here, it's probably not gonna get buffed out. But that is the beauty in this bag. It gets worn, it patinas, it gets scratched, and it kind of builds some character to it. So for your size here, you've got in the Florentine satchel, 13 inches width from here to here you have eight inches in height and then 5.75 inches in depth. So this is a little bit bigger than the Speedy. The Speedy comes in at seven and a half inches in height by 5.9 inches in depth and then 9.8 inches in width. So from here to here. If you're looking for more storage, definitely the Florentine satchel in this size over this one. But one thing that the Florentine satchel has that the Speedy doesn't have is feet. So you've got four feet here on the bottom and then you have kind of like these uh, strips of leather that reinforce the feet and then you have a larger strip here that kind of helps to keep the bag from collapsing in on itself. And the Speedy B doesn't have feet, it's a very flat base with your stitching right there. But this is a pretty structured bag so just standing up like that it won't get smushed as much as the Florentine Satchel. The Florentine Satchel has a top zipper opening, same as the Speedy. It zips up on the top. In terms of getting in and out of the bag, I have to give it to the Speedy. The Speedy zipper goes probably like an inch, a little bit more than an inch down the side of the bag. So you're really able to open and see all of your belongings. Whereas the Florentine Satchel just has this opening right here. And then that's how you get in the bag. In terms of their overall construction, they're very similar in that they both have two top handles that are able to collapse. Now, the Speedy B top handles, they're just easier to drop. I've had several of the Florentine bags and you have to wear it a little bit to get the handles to really flop. As you can see, I just let them go. And they're a little bit harder to break in, but they're both similar like that. And then here on the sides, you'll see that the Florentine has the two little tassels with the suede kind of poking out that green suede, whereas this is very neat and minimalistic. 
and then none of them have exterior pockets. So they're both very similar in that sense. They both have adjustable, removable crossbody straps, which I'm going to get into in a minute. But in terms of general construction, they're both pretty similar. This strap here, the drop measures anywhere from 18 to 20 and a half inches. And then this strap is from 16.9 inches to 18.9 inches. So you have lots of variety in the length. However, when it comes to the strap, I have to give it to the Florentine Satchel because this is able to do kind of a magic trick that this bag is not able to. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you really quick. So you can actually turn this into a shoulder bag, not like a long shoulder bag, but you can double up the strap. So the way that you would do this is you would take the strap apart. So you have two pieces like so. And then you just clip both pieces to one side of the bag like this. So you have that. You take the longer strap and you feed it through this D-ring right here. And you just bring it over and then you connect it here with the buckle. Just loop it like that. And then you're able to turn this into a shoulder bag like that now the designers at Louis Vuitton must have caught on to this trick because you cannot do this with this bag and let me just go ahead and show you instead of talking through it I'm gonna go ahead and take the strap apart really quick so just doing the same thing here I have both parts of my strap connected to one d-ring but when I go to fish this through this d-ring right here the strap is wider than the D-ring. So I'm pretty sure if you force it in there, you'll be able to get it in there, but it's not something that I suggest you do. So we're just gonna go ahead and give the strap over to the Florentine Satchel. Now let's go ahead and talk about the interior. Looking into the Florentine Satchel, you have that green suede collar, and then you have a cotton, kind of like a woven red lining. Now, what I do like about this lining is that you're able to find your things a little bit better since everything kind of um, contrasts in the bag. Whereas in the Louis Vuitton Speedy, you have a microfiber lining, so it's softer to touch, but it's all black inside. Now, here in the Florentine Satchel, you have two slip compartments and one zippered compartment. You also have a key hook. So you can put your keys or anything that fits, you know, in this little clip, AirPods or whatnot, and you can just reach for the strap and go ahead and pull your keys out. One of the things also that the Florentine Satchel has that the Speedy Bandelier doesn't have is that the slip compartments are trimmed up top with leather. So you'll see right there how they have that leather trim on the top, even the zippered compartment as well. And this helps because if you're looking for something and you're not able to look inside the bag, you're kind of able to feel for that leather and then you know that your hand has to reach inside to get in slip compartment. So that's a really nice feature. Now, the Speedy B does have a slip compartment right there. It's a little hard to see because it's all black, but it is there. And then it also has a very generous zippered compartment as well and both of the zippers inside are pretty smooth but i would have to say yeah the louis vuitton one is just a little bit smoother inside but they're both very smooth zippers in terms of the interior capacity the florentine satchel is going to hold a little bit more than the speedy but for today's purpose i'm going to quickly do a what fits and i'll show you that right now so let's say i wanted to take this notebook cover right here that fits in there a mini pochette also fits in there this is like a little gucci slg i did reviews on all of these if you want to look further into them and then the louis vuitton slim purse fits in there and that's what everything looks like inside and you also have room in the pockets and in the slip pockets to put things like 
lip balms and um, you know your car keys, AirPods, smaller belongings. If you wanted to fit all of this into the Florentine satchel, you definitely could, but you'll have some extra room. So there's the notebook, the slim purse, and the mini pochette. And you'll see there that you have a lot more room. Both of these fit a water bottle, a small iPad, um, but you're able to put a little bit more in this than in this. Another huge point that I want to make when comparing these bags is that the Florentine satchel comes in at two pounds and 10 ounces completely empty. So you're kind of shy of three pounds without putting anything in this bag. And I'm, you know, I'm sure if you can put more in this bag than you can in this one, when it's fully packed, this will weigh a lot more than this. This is right under two pounds. I don't have the exact number, but I weighed it with a luggage scale and it was right at about two pounds. So it's still kind of heavy, but keep in mind that these are all leather bags and leather does tend to be heavier than other materials like canvas or whatnot, but this is a pretty heavy bag. So in terms of hardware, we have two different finishes. The Florentine satchel features like an antique aged gold where it's gold, but it's not really shiny or reflective. And I think for the amount of hardware that this bag has going on, it's kind of better that way. I think if all of this would have been shiny gold, it just would have cheapened the aesthetic of it and it wouldn't have looked as good. Whereas the Louis Vuitton Speedy does have shiny gold, but it has a lot less hardware. So it just shines where it needs to and it doesn't have as much hardware on the bag than the Florentine satchel. Now, I will tell you, I've looked up pictures of used Florentine satchels and the hardware on the Florentine satchel does not stack up to the Louis Vuitton hardware. I have a Speedy B30 that I've had for about four and a half years and the hardware is scratched and it's tarnished here and there and things like that. But on the Florentine satchel, I've seen chunks of the finish the gold finish just come off of the hardware so it's not like a fading or anything like that it's just like complete chunks of gold missing from the hardware i can tell you right now that i've used this bag maybe a handful of times and some of the finish is already coming off you can see there it's black so in terms of hardware, I have to give it to the Louis Vuitton, hands down, 100%. In terms of colors and sizes, you have a little bit more variety in the Dunia Burke Florentine Satchel. They come in a lot of seasonal colors. There's limited edition colors. You can get it in green and blue and all types of stuff right from their website as I'm filming this right now. Whereas in the Louis Vuitton, they do release different colors, but it's very seasonal. And if you want something in a special color, you'll probably have to get it pre-loved instead of like brand new from the website, like you would the Florentine satchel. But in the Speedy, they come out with such beautiful colors. Right now for the season, they have like a wine red. That's very gorgeous. They've come out in this bag in cognac. They've done artist collaborations where artists draw on the bags and then you know you're able to purchase that so you do have variety in both but if you wanted to buy something brand new from the website you'll have more options with the florentine satchel which leads me to my final point and that is the price but not just the price right like the price for the quality of what you're purchasing anything can be inexpensive but that doesn't mean that it's of high quality here you have two very high quality bags that are going to last you for years and years to come. This retails for $5.28 USD. It always goes on sale. Most of the times when I go in there, it's at $3.96 and then you could stack a 10% or a 20% coupon on top of that. So you do have some flexibility with your pricing here. Whereas with Louis Vuitton, this bag retails for 2,710 US dollars. And as you know, Louis Vuitton never goes on sale. There are no coupon codes or discounts or anything that you can apply to it unless you wanna purchase something secondhand and then you wouldn't pay as much. So in terms of price for quality, I would have to give it to the Florentine satchel. You finally come up with your final thoughts, but I wanted to quickly share mine. 
based on all the points that we went over, I wanted to kind of break this down into four different categories. The first being functionality. I have to give it to the Speedy, and that's the reason why I will pick this bag over this one if I had to pick between the two. Why? Because this bag is lighter, it's water resistant, it's scratch resistant, the hardware is longer lasting, I'm able to get in and out of the bag a lot easier because of that elongated zipper, which may not be a big difference to somebody else, but to me, if I'm trying to get in and out of the bag quick, these little things do make a difference. Now, in terms of the leather and the construction of the bag, meaning the interior, the compartments, the exterior and things like that, I have to give it to the Florentine satchel. I just feel like the feet on the bottom really helps protect the bottom of your bag. You're able to double up the strap and the leather is a little bit smoother and softer to the touch than the on front leather from Louis Vuitton. In terms of the variety, it has to go to the Florentine satchel as well as the price. It has to go to the Florentine satchel, but I will always pick the Speedy B over this. Now it's not to say that I don't have any Florentine satchels in my collection. I love the look of this bag. It is such a beautiful aesthetic with that slouch and the fact that it patinas over time. Um, I think that they're both wonderful to have. As I mentioned, I have a Speedy B30 in the Damier Aben print that I'm kind of putting away for a little bit. So this is going to be like my everyday bag, but I do have another Florentine satchel in my collection and this is in the color natural. So while I definitely don't need two black leather similar bags, right? I always, always will have one of these in my collection because I think that they are just so beautiful and they are a work of art. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have one or the other, please let me know if you have both of them please let me know and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, bye.